Tonight, brothers are accused of dumping a woman's body three days after she died. Now, police have one brother in custody. The other has not turned himself in. The woman died in a Blue Springs home on January 20th, but Lance Gross and his brother Marlon helped dump her body in rural Cass County. Christina Medina is live in Blue Springs tonight with more. Christina. Good evening. Yeah, according to court documents, this is the home, as you mentioned, in Blue Springs where the woman died. Now, all day long, I've been working to talk to contacts, and I did finally speak to her divorce attorney because the man who lives inside this house is still legally married. His wife moved out last summer. But I spoke to her divorce attorney, and he tells me that this is personal, this is emotional, and been tough for the entire family to bear. Now, I also spoke to her daughter, who tells me, out of respect for all of the families involved, she doesn't want to say much, but she is glad that her mother is safe tonight. The court papers are graphic that describe what caused prosecutors to charge two brothers, Lance Gross and Marlon Gross, with abandoning a corpse. The documents explain the woman, who police say was a friend of Lance, died in his bed after a night of rough sex. The woman lost consciousness and never woke up. Police say Gross left her in his bed for days. Then last week, he asked his brother to help get rid of the body. They drove 150 miles and dumped her body. Body in a creek in Cass County. If you screw up or something bad happens, uh, call No Joy, call the police and say, hey, here's what happened. We were involved in this sex act. Uh, I woke up, she was dead. I would, uh, I think everybody here would agree that that's so much better than what they chose to do. The woman's name still has not been released. Police are making sure her family is notified first. Now, police say more charges could come after toxicology reports are returned. Now, again, Marlon Gross has yet to turn himself in tonight. Police tell us he lives in Lee Summit. They're still waiting for him to turn himself in. Reporting live in Blue Springs tonight, Christina Medina, NBC Action News.